Hello everyone, and welcome to this Lighterama tutorial for the S6 control panel. In this video, we'll talk about the Play Shows tab and your editing options while your show is live. Please view the tutorial for creating a schedule if you have not already completed that step. Generally, your show will start at its scheduled time, but if you ever want to play a show on demand or test out your playlist, just click this question mark icon to immediately start your show schedule. The section in the upper right will show you the currently playing sequence, and the section below shows you what's on deck. The sequences in your playlist will loop until the stop time for your show is reached, so once all these shows play through, they'll all appear again in this window, signifying that the playlist has looped back to the start. If you ever need to immediately skip to the next sequence, use this skip button to immediately jump to the next sequence on deck. Once your playlist loops back around, the sequence you skipped will be back in the lineup. A more common option would be to remove upcoming songs for a cycle before they're reached. This can be helpful if you look out your window and see that traffic is backed up down your street. Maybe this time around you only play three songs instead of six to help get the traffic moving. Thankfully, this change isn't for the entire night, it's just for this loop around the playlist. If traffic gets better, you could choose to only remove one song the next time around, and once traffic finally settles, you can keep the original list. The other option instead of skipping sequences is to add them. This is a great option if you have special visitors who really want to see a specific song, or you need to insert a quick message reminding everyone outside about the parking rules while visiting your display if traffic starts to back up. You can choose to play an override sequence immediately, or wait until the current sequence completes. Once an override sequence is added to this view for the first time, it's available to you in the future to play again as needed. In the upper left, you'll see the upcoming schedule for the next few days. This can help you verify that your shows are scheduled on the correct day of the week. There are four options above this section. The exclamation point lets you play an entire show on demand, not just one override sequence. The plus sign lets you extend the time of your show if you have a lot of visitors still at your display near the end. The pause button lets you temporarily pause playback, maybe to clear traffic, then resume later on. And the stop button ends the show for the night entirely. The last options to be aware of are along the top. The slider with the light bulb is called the Master Dimmer, which allows you to gracefully fade off all the way if ever needed, such as when using Lightarama shows in a live environment. It's recommended that you use the standard preview dimming curves to set the brightness of specific props in your display instead of relying on the Master Dimmer for your whole show. The sound slider is your master volume. If you're ever having trouble and need to see the show player log, just click this button in the upper right. If needed, you can copy the data to send to others if you need assistance solving a problem with playback. Choosing Disable Player disables standard show playback entirely to let you choose one of the other playback modes. This is not the standard way to stop your show from playing, so only select this option when relevant. To make permanent changes to your playlist or schedule, use the Create Shows tab to make your edits. And that's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss a notification about new videos.